the thing that uh, about the Kalevala that's really interesting and the thing that Tolkien borrowed the most from is his perspective on um, the ancient heroes being wizards, but wizards with their words. It was the, the magic was actually in the words. It's not like you're not to decry Harry Potter and that there's this uh, a specific word for a specific spell, but that the power is in the ability to be beautiful in the expression of words. And so there's this, um, each chapter is called a rune, which I, between Finnish and Nordic and uh, Lithuanian mythologies, there's a lot of crossover. Um, I noticed a, a lot of stories now that I've been listening to um, uh, in a certain kingdom. It's a gentleman that does a lot of stories from uh, uh Scandinavia. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a crossover, almost exact same stories between Ivan and his br three brothers or two brothers and a bunch of stories in the Kalevala and this, some of the stories in, in Nordic tradition. So I, I just thought it was really beautiful. But one of the things that I wanted to point out is there was a, in Rune 9, there's this little passage in here and it's after the main wizard, um, get saved from almost a, a, a death blow. And he goes, then the ancient uh, Voinaminen raised his eyes to high Jamala, looked with gratitude to heaven, looked on high, enjoying gladness, then addressed the omniscient Uko, which is their version of the most high. This is the prayer that the minstrel uttered. Oh, be praised, thou God of mercy. Let me praise thee, my creator, since thou gavest me assistance and vouchsafed, vouchsafed me thy protection, healed my wounds and stilled my anguish, banished all my pain and trouble, caused by iron and by hissy. I don't know what that is. Oh, you people of Wadnala, people of this generation and the folk of future ages, fashion not in emulation, river boat nor ocean shallop, boasting of its fine appearance. God alone can work completion, give to cause its perfect ending. Never hand of man can find it. Never can the hero give it. Uko is the only master. And it's like, oh, this is a direct, uh, some of our prayers in the Orthodox Church are those words about, I've been vouchsafed by thy protection. And it's it's really interesting to see how close the story is when they're referring to the Most High God in this pantheon.